What's up, Mega Five Stars? Welcome back to another video. This time, YouTubers News Edition. So, guys, um, Grams. Grams seems to be having a little bit of flashback. A little bit of flashback and maybe even a little bit of PTSD. She posted these two photos on her Instagram. One is of her head bashed in and then she had to get staples. And then the other is her head seemed to have a bite mark on her forehead. So listen, along with that, those pictures, she shared this message. She said, nah, for real, that verbal and physical abuse shit is not cool nor cute. I had staples in my shit on this day three years ago. And last year I had bite marks in my forehead. Two different situations, two different females, both of them had the same issue, impulsiveness. And when I say history has been repeating itself, each situation I walked away from without a fight. I ain't speaking on it for sympathy or pity party because I'm far from perfect. Years back, I used to dive cross a B shit if I felt like she was even getting too loud with me. Not bragging, but I was with all the shits. But as I got older and more mature, I began to crave a more gentle love. Speak to me or not at me. I started practicing communicating better instead of yelling and fighting. Then I decided I wanted better for myself. Once I did that, Everything that wasn't in alignment with that had to go or I had to go. As I get older, certain shit just ain't cute anymore. And a toxic bit don't excite me at all anymore. I had to learn the hard way that until we heal the parts of us that is attracted to toxic shit, we're going to continue to attract toxic shit. I'll be single until I attract someone that flows on the same frequencies as I am on. And I don't give a F how long it takes to settle down. Just know I refuse to settle for another low vibrational connection ever again. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it looks like, a, a, you know, she's feeling a little bit, like I said, a little bit of flashback or something. But, guys, get this. We all know that she used to date Lily, this person here, and they were in a very toxic relationship to the point that it came out that Lily was talked about, that Lily bashed her in the head, is who gave her these staples in her head. Uh, and it was after... Apparently, Grams was cheating with this person, Avery, and who she left Lily for, right? So, again, Lily apparently bashed her in the head, gave her these staples, which was very toxic, very crazy. But then, guys, I didn't know she had bite marks on her forehead. Now, who did that? But as you can see in her little post here, she said last year. And she said it was from a whole new, another situation last year. She was with Avery last year. So you mean to tell me Avery was toxic too? Avery was beating up on her? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, I did not know about the bite mark on the forehead. I mean, if you guys know, tell me. Because I didn't know anything about that. That's crazy. So she was being abused by both of them? <laughs> Wow. I mean, this is some news to me. But guys, if she has so much PTSD, my only issue is why did she even try to rekindle something with Lily? As you know, she tried to rekindle a little something with Lily. And if you haven't watched that particular video, I'll leave it at the end of this video so you could go check it out. But yeah, she tried to rekindle a little something with Lily. After all of this happened, after you done got bashed in and, <laughs> you know, feeling a little something. But I mean, if it's toxic, don't try to go back to it. Leave it alone. But that's the only thing I'm baffled about. And that she's having all this PTSD. I mean, come on, like flashbacks about it. Like, 
move on, move on because, or don't go try to go back. I mean, I feel bad for it because that's a, that's a tough situation. Yeah. You're going to remember that for the rest of my life. But if somebody bashed me in the head like that, not only I'm looking to go crazy myself, but I'm, I'm not trying to go back to that person ever again. But anyway, I didn't know she was getting abused by Avery. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she's talking about Avery. Now, I'm not 100% sure because she did not say Avery name or mention her in this post. And we all know that was the, the fight in her head was linked back to Lily last year. I mean, a couple of years back. So whatever. But anyway, guys, here we are. Yeah, Grams is having some type of issue, some type of flashback. And this is what she posted. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you on my next video. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned.